Hey there, I'm Felicia with Compass Land USA, your go-to resource for great deals on rural and vacant land. We have another land blog video to share with you today. So today we're gonna be looking at using Florida land to diversify your real estate portfolio. The purchase of Florida land is often an underrated real estate investment choice. It isn't really as exciting as other forms of real estate and people don't always immediately see the potential. However, the right piece of land can end up producing great profits. We're gonna go over some tips on what to look for as well as some ideas of how to use your land to generate profits. So signs of profitable land, location, 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 right? That's kind of the basis of real estate, the location. A property in a great spot will generate great profits. If the land is in an up and coming area, you're going to see the demand for it and prices for land will go up. Having land in a rural area isn't as likely to appreciate as land in areas that are being actively developed. There are many places in Florida where land is in demand. The state in general is very popular for vacationers, snowbirds, and people just looking to relocate. People love the sun. Humans crave the sunshine. It's a popular state for international spectators as well. So according to Realtor.com, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Cape Coral, and Northport are in the top 10 markets across the US for international traffic. So of all the markets across all the states, those, how many did I say? Those four are in the top 10 for international traffic. What does that tell you? That tells you that Florida is seen as a great investment location, not just for people within the US, but also globally. And unfortunately, this also means a little more competition. No building restrictions. While, building land, while buying land might seem very simple, there are things that you're going to look, need to look into before buying or selling land in Florida. You don't want to buy a lot with the intent to develop only to find out that you aren't able to do what you really wanted. Um, that's definitely a bit of a bummer. And we have worked with a lot of people that have kind of gotten stuck in that situation. So you want to make sure there aren't any building or zoning restrictions that will impede any profits you see from the lot. Many people think that land just has to sit there, but that isn't always the case. There are a number of ways you can use your land to generate income. Of course, the zoning always needs to fit with what you want to do, but if you get a little creative, you can think of a number of different ways to use your land. One strategy to generate income using land in Florida is to buy and develop at a cost-effective price. So as long as you're able to rent the property out right away or resell it, you have the potential to generate some amazing profits from your piece of land. Another strategy is to subdivide. So purchase a large parcel of land, subdivide it, and resell it to a number of different buyers as individual lots. Now this process can take some work, but once you know the ropes, it can be a great way to make money using land in Florida. Depending on the property, there are a number of different audiences who may want to rent it from you. Uh, if you own a residential lot, you can consider leasing it to a neighbor to expand their yard for them to store their boat or jet skis, or maybe they want to rent it for their kids so their kids can kind of have a massive lot and yard to run around on. Many homeowners will jump at the chance to spread out uh, even if it isn't permanent. If you own a lot in a commercial area, you can lease it to a local business for parking, let's say, or maybe you can lease it out for events such as um, open air concerts, farmers markets, you do have many options here. If you have agricultural land, farmers in your area may be looking for some extra space, extra land to work. So why does this work? Less competition low cost and motivated sellers. So less competition, there is a smaller pool of land buyers, which means you will have less competition when looking for the right property. And this is compared to housing and commercial industrial, other uses that have structures on them. Um, 
So generally there is less competition just for that raw vacant land. And sure, there are people who do this professionally, but the numbers in comparison to let's say housing, housing gurus or housing real estate focusers, that number is gonna be much lower. So low cost, land can usually be acquired at a much lower cost than other forms of real estate. And this makes it more accessible and easier for you to add to your portfolio. Sellers will find it much easier to part with a piece of land as opposed to a single family home, right? There's, there's less attachment, there's less emotional, there's less of an emotional tie. And that gives you the opportunity to find a great deal. If you want to diversify your real estate portfolio, using land in Florida is an excellent option. We are happy to help you find the right lot or any questions that you might have. And we're happy to help you diversify your real estate portfolio in Florida. You can get in touch with us at 313-349-0434 or email us at sales at compasslandusa.com. You can also check out our website where we have all of our uh, current inventory up for sale. So thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think. If you guys have purchased land in Florida before, or maybe you want to for an investment or for something else, leave a comment. Let's chat about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.